Hey guys, this is Lori with Ellen's Crafty Creations and I'm here to share a super easy tutorial with you on my Doodle Bug Yankee Doodle album. Um, really easy, really cute. I think you're going to like it. It's just the perfect size. It does hold 4x6 photos even though it does look small. So on the inside, here's what the pages look like um, as usual. I, you see this black here because I lined my um, stack the deck binding system with Tyvek so the black does show because I used black Tyvek so wasn't really thinking there um, but that's okay I used the um, artisan denim cardstock from countrycraftcreations.com and you just have the page here and then again my favorite style photo album, photo mat that I've been using lately, um, that I'm sure y'all are going to get sick of, um, that where you can have the design paper, some embellishing your photo. This I would use for a journaling spot, and then you know you can do portrait or landscape photos. There are mats in the pockets, and then two more photos here, and then. They alternate pocket or belly band and um, where to go pocket where you can get. I cut these photo mats at four and a quarter by five and a quarter, and so you only have to chop an inch off your photo. And most of us um, are able to chop at least that much off our photo, right? Because um, of all the noise in the background. So let's go through this. The page style is super easy, but it does take a lot of cardstock. Um, I used an entire package of the Artisan denim cardstock to make this. However, I only used one package of pattern paper, so that's good. Um, I'm going to give you some options here. Let's go ahead and just make the base pages first. Why did I score that one? Oh, there we go. Huh, confusing myself already. Okay, so for the base pages, you're going to need six pieces cut at six and a quarter by six and a quarter, and then you need six pieces cut at six and a quarter by seven and a quarter. You're going to score on the seven and a quarter inch side at half an inch on each end, okay? Now fold on your score lines and burnish. This is the easiest six by six album you've ever done hopefully. It's super quick. So I'm going to add our glue here and I like to add it only on one side and then stick it down and then add it on the other. So I'm going to stick it down here lining it up with the bottom of the page just burnishing it and then I'm going to go ahead and add my glue at the top And then I'm going to stick it down. Make sure it gets all lined up nice and neat. Okay. And there's my base page. Super easy. Okay. It's six and a quarter by six and a quarter, so of course you can fit portrait or landscape photos, whichever one you choose on this page. And then we're going to add flaps to it. So you're going to need 12 of these flaps cut at six and three quarters by six and a quarter. You're going to score on the six and three quarter inch side at half an inch on that end. And then fold on your score line and burnish. So it's two of these flaps per base page. I'm just going to add my glue right here on the outside of the hinge and add it right here on the left hand side of the page and I'm just going to line it all up. Okay. So there is our first flap and then we have our pocket and then turn it over to the back. We're going to add the same size flap on the back right here on the right hand side of the page. OK. 
Okay. So there it is. And that's it. That's my base page. Can you believe how simple that is? All I did, and I'm going to leave these elements up to you. Um, on this one, I'm going to add a pocket on the back of the page at the bottom. Why is that pocket so big? Sorry guys, I cut this one wrong. So where is... Where's the rest of my pockets? I had several made. I wonder if I cut them all wrong. Just one second. Here they are. What did I do? No, this is the only one that's wrong. I don't know what I was... Oh, you know what that is? I just threw it away. It's the back cover pocket. What's wrong with me? Okay. Anyway, sorry about that. I was thinking of the wrong thing. So, what I did is I alternated on the back of the page either pocket or belly band. Okay? So, I'm going to give you the measurements for the pockets and the belly bands, and you can choose wherever you want to put them. So because this is a square piece of, you know, a square base page, you could put the pocket at the bottom. So let me fold on this and burnish and show you what I'm talking about. And then I also have a belly band cut here. Whoops. So you could put a belly band here like this, or you could do it that way, or you could do your pocket at the bottom of the page, or you could do it on the side of the page, whichever you prefer. This is a pretty shallow pocket, so if you do it on the side, your stuff might fall out, so just be aware. Um, but I'm just giving you some options. And you could do these pockets or belly bands on any of your flaps. So if you wanted a pocket right here, go for it, okay? Uh, if you want to pocket on every page, go for that. Whatever you want to do, you can do. Um, the only thing, so I'm going to go ahead and add this one because, you know what, I need to, I'm actually going to be adding this page to my album. So I'm going to take my little corner rounder. Everyone's been asking me where I got this corner rounder. I promise you I got it from some, the only scrapbook store that we had open here in like the 90s. So, <laughs> um, I don't know who makes it or if it's even available anymore. Um, but it works just the same as the, you know, the We Are Memory Keepers ones that you see out that everyone uses now. So, same thing. It does the job, right? It's just the one that I happen to have, and it's compact and cute, so it's the one I use most often. So I rounded on my corners and even rounded the corner on the pocket. So I'm going to put it right there, because this page is actually going into my album, because I waited to do the last page before, uh, so I could do the tutorial with you guys. So here... And I'll even go ahead, I've already cut the papers to mat this, so I'll go ahead and mat this on camera with you. So there's my pocket. So the pockets, you're going to cut them to, let me write this down while I'm talking to you, pocket, seven and a quarter by three inches. And then the belly band is going to be seven and a quarter by two and a quarter. Okay? So for the pockets, you're going to want to score 
on the seven and a quarter inch side at half an inch on each end, and then on the two and a quarter inch side at half an inch. And then for the belly bands, if you do those, you're going to want to score on the seven and a quarter inch side at half an inch on each end. Okay? So there's those. Super easy. Um, so now that I've got my base page done, the only other thing that I added was these four and a quarter by four and three quarter inch flaps. So I rounded all my corners, so I'm going to do that here. And I just placed them wherever I wanted to throughout the album, so you could do the same. So this is kind of like design your own mini album, sort of. If you don't like the smaller photos for smaller flaps, then don't add them at all. You don't have to. You know, say you want one right there, right where your pocket is. Put a swing tab there or a magnet and it'll keep it closed. There you go. There's that. Some of the pages I added um, a flap here and then a flap on the other side. You could do that. On one page I just added one of these smaller flaps to the top or you could do a top and bottom type thing or to top. Whatever you like to do. On this one I'm going to add them on the sides. And I'm just eyeballing it, trying to get it as close to in the middle as I can. I like to use these flaps for journaling. So if you take your um, four by six lined project life cards and cut them down to four and a quarter or four by four, then you can mat these flaps on the inside or the outside, whatever you want with those cards and you have great journaling spaces with lines which is what I like. Okay so there's my base page. That's it. Super simple album. Um, but it turns out so cute. Now um, I already have this paper cut so let's go ahead and mat it and then I will... There's the pocket that was for that that I didn't... I left it inside the album. Um, oh, that's for the pocket. Okay. So on this front cover here, I've already cut my pattern paper to 6x6. Six six. I rounded my two corners. I mounted a sticker on cardstock, and it's just going to go right there. So I'm going to go ahead and add my glue here. And all of my other pages are matted, so you don't have to worry about having to sit through all of the matting of the pages. But some people have told me that they really wanted to see me mat some pages. So here you go. And I just like to really burnish this glue really well. And if it seeps out, I don't care. You know, it's not a big deal. It dries clear. Don't worry about it. Okay. So there's that page done. On the inside here, I am just going to do a landscape over here and a portrait over here, just like that. I've already cut my pattern paper. These are cut to 1 and 7 eighths by 6 inches, and I've already inked around the edges. and I'm just going to add them right here. And that's it. You don't have to, this is the only way that you can use just one pack of the design paper on this album is because you're just cutting these strips. Now I did use the entire pack. I didn't have I'm actually hoping I have enough to decorate my covers the way I've, or the, my front and back inside covers um, the way I want. So anyway, here is this done. I'm going to leave these flaps and put my paper, I'm going to do my hearts and X's on each side here for portrait photos. And you can do 
different pattern papers. You don't have to have the same on each side. Okay, and that's it. Room for four by six, room for four by four, or like I said, we can take this super cute Project Life journaling card, cut it down to four by four, round out our corners, and then we can just add it right here. And where did my daughter put it? My daughter had my washi tape. Here it is. Tamara sent me this adorable heart washi with this. And I love it. So what I was doing with these Project Life cards is taking this washi, whoops, and lining it up with that top line. Stick it down. And then I just tear it off on the end here, and I just fold it over. So how cute of a journaling spot is that? Got a little corners over here. Just gonna cut them off a bit. How cute is that? I just love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that down right there. I like wrapping the washi around the paper because that way I know it's going to stay because you know how washi tape is. Sometimes it likes to seep up on you. What did I get on that? It's like glue or something. Probably from my fingers. Okay. So super cute journaling spot. Close this up. For my pocket, I've got these pieces cut right here. I've already rounded my one corner and inked around my edges. And stick this down here. And then I'm going to add my last piece right on the inside here. And this page is done. Just need to add some photo mats. How cute is this paper? There we go, there's our pocket. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, this is the photo mat that goes in here, so I'm not gonna do that just yet because I'm gonna glue it down. So I have my last little flap here to add my, t my last page. I'm going to add my glue. This is how I've been adding my pages to my album lately. I just add glue to my tabs. I'm gonna open it up, stick it on. Clear out the glue I have seeping out, and it works out really well. Okay, that's it. My last page is in. And so what I've done to the front cover is I've added a small booklet here that will hold either four or three photos depending on if you use this just to decorate and then there's a pocket on the base page so the pocket on the base page was the pocket that I just thought that I 
messed up on and I threw it away. So let me grab that again. Oops, sorry, I keep knocking the table. And which one is it? It's this one, because this one's too big. And then I already cut these flaps, too. Here they are. Losing my mind today, honestly. So let me show you how that works real quick. Um, so, cover, pocket. Obviously, I didn't write these down yet. This one, there goes one of my flaps. I'm going to cut it to, or I did cut it, to seven and three quarters by two and seven eighths. So, seven three quarters by two and seven eighths. The reason it's a strange measurement, two and seven eighths, is because I had one large piece of paper and I just cut it in half and then created a pocket out of it. So it's kind of a funky measurement. So I've already folded all my score lines and burnished. I'm just going to add this right here and I'm going to line it up all the way on the right hand side. Whoops. Okay. And then for my flaps, these are cut to six and a quarter by four and a quarter. And you're going to score on the six and a quarter inch side at half an inch. And then fold on your score line and burnish. You're going to make two of these, or actually four, because you're going to have two on the front cover as well. And I'm going to go ahead and add the top one right here in the middle. Whoa. It's my glue is sliding all over the place today. There we go. And then I'm going to add the other one just directly on top. Okay, and that's it. And I would do a swing tab right here, which I already have. So I cut out lots of swing tabs at once, and I do this using my Tim Holtz Biggs die, and these are my favorite ones, these tiny ones. Come on, tell me I have at least one more of those in here. There we go, got lucky. So I use these, I cut them out of chipboard, and they're sturdy. Um, and I'll show you how I do that. Just one second. I have to get off my mic for a minute and grab my brat. So, one minute. that I wasn't prepared with that. So I'm going to need to cut my pattern paper first for the pocket. So I told you I only have scraps left, literally. Let's see what I, what size I need this to be. So I need it to be about two and an eighth by six and a half. 
some. Don't think I'm going to get lucky and already have something ready. That's too small. I'm going to have to cut into one of my pieces. Darn. Okay, so let's see how big this is. This one's too short too. Well, okay. Looks like I'm using this. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my two pieces of paper here. Two and an eight. So it's going to go here. And I'm going to do the same on the back cover. So, to make my closure here, I'm going to kind of line up my paper here. I'm going to take my swing tab, poke this hole out that's in it, and I'm going to stick it right down here about in the middle of the photo mat. Okay. I'm going to mark where that placement is on the paper. And then I'm going to take my little hole punch or your crop it all, whatever you have, and I'm going to cut that hole exactly where I marked it, okay? So then I'm going to cover my little swing tab with pattern paper. Let me grab a scrap of something. This will work. So how I do that, put this to the side for a second, is I take this and I put glue all over the top of it. So I want this to show on the outside of my swing tab, so I'm going to glue this space down here, and I'm going to do the same to the other one. Okay, face down. This is how I cover my swing tabs with paper. I'm only going to do it on one side, and then I'm going to cut these out. And I have glue seeping all over the place, but I normally don't care. So I'm just going to fussy cut around these. And there you go. There's my swing tab covered in paper. I'm going to take one of these tiny doodle bug brads, not yellow, and white. I'm going to stick it through this hole. Okay. And then I'm going to stick it through the hole on the paper, which actually I'm going to ink around the edges of this thing first because. I don't like seeing all that chipboard. Then I'm going to stick it through the hole of my paper and I'm just going to open up my little brad. So there's my swing tab right there. Okay. Now I usually cover this with a bit of score tape right over the brad because I don't like this moving around all that much. Just, just like that. So now, when I add it to the book, let's get this where you can see it. I'll take my backing off my score tape. I'll add my glue. Okay, I'm going to lift these flaps up, and I'm going to stick it down. And I just put the flaps down just so I can make sure that it came at just the right spot to where it's going to hold them. Okay, and I forgot to ink the edges of that paper, didn't I? 
So then my swing tab goes up and holds those into place. Perfect, huh? So that's it, guys. That's all I have for you. Um, showed you the swing tab. Did these, the little flaps. See, I put this one in the middle and I put the cloud paper on it so that way you can still journal or place a photo. These photo mats on the inside, they are cut to six inches by five and three quarters. Um, and you'll need six of those. And of course, all of my smaller photo mats. I did these in the navy cardstock, and I made the book with the denim artisan cardstock. So the navy cardstock photo mats are cut to four and a quarter by five and a quarter. And I put two in each pocket, or belly band, whatever you want to say. And that's all I've got. I think that's all the measurements that you need. I made six pages. Um, when I, I was going to just do five, and that alone was like six to 60 photos. So then by the time you add another page and then your little elements in the front and back cover, this album will hold just a ton of photos. So I hope you enjoy making it, and thanks for watching.